Well, good morning, brothers and sisters. It is Saturday, March 19th, 2022. Those are my Barbies. And I've got more over here. I've got a Dorothy and the Wicked Witch of the West dolls that I'm probably going to keep. I was thinking about selling them, but you can't find them anywhere. So I have to find the Tin Man, Cowardly Lion, and the Scarecrow to go with the, the set. Um, I do this video for my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for his glory and honor. And um, he gave me a message uh, the other day. I think it was Thursday. Yeah, no, was it St. Patrick's Day? Yes, it was. And I'm going to read part of it. You were the most unlovable person. I know you better than you think. You need to come home. You wasted too much time. I will lead, guide, and direct you. Don't worry about what Tom said. You did exactly what he is doing. Issues with my sister being in a nursing home. I did all of it and now he's upset. But we talked about it yesterday. Uh, let's see. What I did was my sister has been in a nursing home for the past five months. And my son and I, we just found out on Valentine's Day that she's been in this nursing home. And I went up to see her. I led her to Christ. And then two days later, she perceived to attack me verbally and just kept going back to things that made absolutely no sense, that have no bearing on anything. And, you know... I was very hurt by some of the things that she said, but I knew it was a spiritual attack. And when I realized that, I started instantly praying and casting out evil demonic spirits. As soon as I did that, it, no sooner did I just continue to pray, that heaviness came off of me. Because at one point, yes, I was unlovable. And I have... a. Uh, powerful, powerful testimony that I'm going to do in another video. And um, I just wanted to come on here and share a couple of things with you. Um, he also gave me a message, but I'm, I'm going to get to that in a minute. Um, he just, the Lord is really reiterating, there's too many fake and phony prophets out there that are preaching off their flesh and not off the Holy Spirit. They're asking people for money. Donate, donate, donate. I got off all those groups on Facebook because there's just too many people out there trying to pimp God, and you cannot pimp God. He'll put you right in your spot, right where you should be, if you're going to go like that off your flesh. Too many, how do you say, self-appointed prophets or prophetess, which I knew one, and I had to cut her off. I'm self-appointed. And I looked at her. I said, really? You weren't appointed by the Lord or the Holy Spirit? And she got real quiet. And I could see her mouth moving back and forth. Like she was grumbling under her breath. And I cut her off. I'm like, I can't be bothered with you. Just a lot of things we need to be aware of today. Because everything that is happening in this world today has been prophesied 2,000 years ago. The wars, the rumors of wars. This war with the Ukraine and Russia is eventually going to lead to World War III and the Battle of Armageddon. The U.S. is going to be involved in this war with Russia. That's what it's going to come to. And we seriously need to pray for our country and pray for our leaders, pray for our president, the government, the people, the military, especially the military. As being a military mom and a military wife, yes, we need to keep... All of the members of the military, the Ukrainians, even the Russians, we got to pray for them because why this war is happening, only God knows, but it was prophesied. But the other thing is, um, the Lord gave me a couple scriptures. 1 Corinthians fifteen fifty two. In the moment and in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet shall sound, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. The dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed forever. For this incorruptible must put on corrupt, the corruptible, I'm sorry, must put on incorruption, 
and the mortals must put on immortality. And then he gave me another scripture. 1 John 4, 1 through 6. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit to see whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into this world. And then he gave me a message. <laughs> it's so funny. I was laying there the other, I said, Lord, give me another word. And he said, hit and run. Just like that, hit and run. And I'm like, okay, hit and run. And I had to laugh because there's a local band, a local rock band in my area in Buffalo. They play classic rock, uh, stuff that I, you know, that I like, Night Ranger, Journey and all that. Um, they're called hit and run. And I've seen them a few times. And the one thing that came to me when the Lord said hit and run was uh, a scene from Sons of Anarchy Season 1 where Jax Teller and his then-girlfriend Tara, Dr. Knowles, he said to her right out, your life is a series of hit and runs. And that's exactly what God brought back to me and it gave me a whole message that I got to tweak it I got to rewrite some more, add to it, whatever he wants me to add to it, I will. And it is <laughs> hit and run. I just, I had to laugh because God has a sense of humor. He knows us better than we know ourselves. And it doesn't scare me anymore to say that. So be encouraged, stay prayerful, um, Lead as many people as you can to, to Christ because he could come at any time. Because when he said to me the other day, I'm coming sooner than you think or realize. Have a great day, brothers and sisters. God bless you.